everybody and welcome to another 10 minute tip brought to you by the Ozen Curious Project. My name is Sector035 and as promised in the webcast I'm going to take you along into the, the developer's tools of a browser. And the reason for that is because of, well, the last couple of weeks people have been noticing a change within Instagram. They kind of force you to create an account and to log in. So at the moment you want to, for instance, um, check out pictures, you can quickly work your way around it by just opening one image and go and click to the right all the way until you reach the end. But if you have a large page with hundreds and hundreds of pictures, you kind of want to scroll through it. And at a certain point, you will be met with a login screen and you can't scroll anymore scroll bar is completely gone and you're forced to create an account log in with your facebook or log in with a regular account now we can have a look what's going on behind the screens by using the developers tools we can go to the menu in firefox here and we can go to the web developer part we can toggle the tools, we can go to the inspector or web console or whatever you need. Now let's turn it on. <clears throat> Another way of opening up the developer's tools is by pressing the F12 key. When I press it, it closes. When I press it again, it pops up again. Now we want to try and remove this from Instagram. Now you can go through each and every line and see what happens here by turning things on and off but there's a quicker way to do that for that we are going to use the element picker we click it it turns blue and we go into the page and we see that this is something it's being highlighted and we want to see what this is now we can go up here into the hierarchy of the page until we get to the biggest element that is part of this login screen now when I select this it says it's a div it's an HTML tag it has a class and the role is presentation it doesn't matter we can go into the filter styles and we can have a look because here are all the different settings of this part of the code. And here we see a background color. Now this is RGBA for red, green, and blue. And the last one is like the transparency. Now knowing that, we can take it off and see what happens. Okay, this looks nice. This is something we can use because we would like to get our background back. So it could be that this is actually what we need to remove. So we are going to delete note. We right click on the piece of code that we want to edit or delete. We go to delete note and everything's gone. I close the developer tools and we now have an all Instagram except we can't scroll yet. But time to fire up the developer's tools once more. Why we can't scroll is because of this first part. And you can actually see that happen. When we reload the page, see the body class and the style is empty. But there's an event listener. The event listener is going to kick in at the moment we reach a certain depth in the page and then it says overflow hidden now hidden overflow means in this case the scroll bars are gone so if we change this to visible and we click outside the tag we see that the scroll bar is back now we just have to remove this one again so we click on here, go to 
this part piece here that we already saw earlier, we delete it. We can close the developers toolbar and we can keep on scrolling until we reach the end. Now something similar is also possible with, for instance, Pinterest. I'm not using Pinterest an awful lot and I haven't been able to see a lot of things that might be helpful in, um, in an investigation, but Pinterest is also very famous for its NAC screens. Now, anytime you want to, um, you want to open up an image, it will give you a page. If you're not logged in saying like, Hey, come on, create an account to get rid of this. We can easily just strip the last part of the URL, reload the page and we're done. But there's another way we can do this automatically. So at the moment we get to a page, we open up an image, we go to the developers toolbar. And again, by using the element picker, we can create, we can see that there's a whole overlay here. We click it and we see a full page model scroller and going up, we see the style, the background again. We can see that that is part of the NAG screen. We go one up, so we get the whole container and we can actually remove it completely. The only problem we have now is no scroll bar. But remember, in Instagram, we have the overlay and it's sad, hidden, exclamation mark, important, because they wanted to hide the overlay. We find it here all the way in the beginning, and if we change the word hidden to visible, don't press enter because you might go, if for instance in Chrome, if you press enter, it will actually be a new line in the code. But you can also click outside of the code and the scroll bar appears straight away. You can close it and you can browse along. But every time you click a new image, it will appear again. Now to do that, to make sure that it stays away, we are going to use uBlock Origin. uBlock Origin is an extension for Chrome, Firefox and probably a few other browsers too. And what we can do is we can zap things from the page. They are being removed straight away, but it's not going to be saved forever. We are going to build a special filter so this will stay in place. For that, we use the element picker. Now, the element picker, we are going to click the whole overlay that is all over the page. We click it, and we get a small little screen here. We can even preview it and see what happens if we are going to filter this. This is, this is not what we want. We want a little bit more. So we go one down to the div, and we see, yeah, this is it. This is what we want. We want to remove the whole NAG screen and the gray overlay, so to say. So we create a filter. If we go to ULOG Origin and we go to the dashboard, we see it created for us a line. And this will stay in place as long as ULOG Origin is running. Now, remember we still don't have a scroll bar because that's being removed too. Now, for that, we just manually enter it. And you have to look up in, um, in GitHub or wiki pages or on forums how the um, query language actually works. But we have the domain name. We have two hash, uh, hashes. Uh, to indicate uh, that we want to change something and we want to change the body style. So it is the body part and it is the style that we want to change. We open up 
into the brackets, and we say the overflow has to be visible, not hidden, but visible. Make sure it's important, so we can also override the already existing overflow setting. We close the bracket, and we say apply changes. Now, at the moment, we are going to click on a new image. It will load a page, and eventually, it will even give us a scroll bar. Not only that, it will do it all in the background, and it will filter out all the nag screens that we have. We can also do that with Instagram. If we are going to reload this page, we're going to scroll down till we get the next screen. We'll go to Uvlog Origin, the element picker. We are going to click on the big overlay that is on top of the whole screen. We can preview it. You can create a rule, which then shows up here after we reload the page. And then we again need to say Instagram.com and we just copy the body style overflow visible. We apply the changes. We go back to Instagram. We reload the page and we can scroll and scroll until we reach the end of the page without receiving any kind of nag screens ever again. Now, this will probably change in the near future. I suspect that this code they use to give the style or CSS tag a specific um, name might change in the future. Don't worry, you can just go over these steps again and recreate the filters that you need. Thank you for watching. If there are any comments or any questions, feel free to add them to the video or reach out to us on Ozone Curious and let's see each other again in the next webcast. Bye-bye.